everybody, this is Alexa. Today we're speaking with Dr. Aaron Landers about teacher education. So what is your job title and how long have you been in this position? Let me see. My title is Assistant Professor of Teacher Education and Program Coordinator. I have done this job for nine years, but I started out as a high school social science English teacher and I coached country track and debate and I also worked on the administrative side of teacher education and in higher ed as a program for years so I have had a lot of different experiences in teacher education. Okay. So what type of skills do you think are necessary for succeeding in this type of program? To to be a teacher um, you definitely you definitely need to want to work with children because that's who you work all day. You need to have a love of learning and you need to also want to help your students get excited about whatever they are studying. And you need a lot of patience and uh, compassion and you need confidence and enthusiasm. I think those are all good traits that you have. So what type of education or training is needed for someone that's looking to get into getting into like this type of career this type of job. Yeah, to become a teacher in the state of Illinois, you need a bachelor's degree, and that's gonna be the same in every state in the country. You also need to get a teaching license that's uh, for the state we're working in. So in, in Illinois, we, we have an Illinois teaching license. And what that means in terms of coursework is that you will take specific courses in your bachelor's degree that are gonna lead towards that teaching license. and. Um, once you've done that and taken the licensure test, you will have the teaching license. So what are the duties and responsibilities in this job? Well, I think most people who watch this video have been to school, so they will have, um, they know what it's like to be in a classroom, but I always tell my students that there's a big difference between being a student in the classroom and then being the teacher in the classroom. So what that means is you're gonna be responsible for the learning for all of your students. So you're going to be preparing lessons, um, developing the classroom environment, so you're going to figure out ways to uh, get everybody learning and that includes behavior, which um, as a future teacher, you actually receive quite a bit of training on behavior management and classroom management and your teacher preparation classes. So what type of personality traits? I know you talked about these skill sets that were needed. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, kind of what I uh, mentioned before, you, you definitely need to have passion for your kids, a passion for learning. Um, you need to be excited about watching kids grow and develop. You need, I think you need to have a good sense of humor. You are working with kids, and kids um, are developing human beings and going through unique things based on their age and stage. And I think you need to be able to laugh with them and have a lot of empathy for them. How much do you think you're required to work outside of your normal distance hours between just teaching and class? Well, I think teaching, uh, you do work outside of the, the day. Uh, most teachers I know are either grading papers or preparing their classrooms for the next day. So, um, sometimes it can be after the school day, sometimes it's on weekends. Um, and most teachers are thinking about, even if they're not, you know, actively grading or are willing to do or preparing for their day, they're thinking about their lesson plans. They're thinking about their kiddos. They're, you know, um, they're just always kind of processing how they how they can be good teachers. And I think even in the, in the summer, teachers are still thinking about their classrooms and how they want to work it because that is the nature of the profession. I think. People who are going to teach it that always want to hear how they can make it work better. So I think it's kind of a characteristic of the teachers. What do you think is the most valuable lesson that you've learned as a teacher? Oh my. Um, I think that I always learn from my students. Um, and it may not be that I learn a content very better, but I will learn about how to see the world differently. Um, I will, I will probably, I've got, it's opened my mind, opened my perspective, um, 
every year I try to remember empathy and compassion. When I'm dealing with my students, I try to always remember to walk a mile in their shoes in terms of, you know, when I'm preparing to teach a lesson, you know, am I communicating as well? Is this going to make sense for them? Like, where are the stressors going to be? Am I being fair on the time I'm going to do it? It's been very consistent. Um, I've seen students who've gone through terrible purchase and, you know, um, I, for me, it always just kind of creates this perspective on the world, like, you know, just remember, remember, you know, others, remember people are struggling, remember your students are real people with challenges. What should, why should someone choose Cass Cascade College to start off with their education? Well, I think KC is a great place to begin um, your degree uh, across the board. What we offer at Kaskaski College for future teachers is we work really hard to make sure both the teacher education classes that they need and the general education classes that they need are correct. And what I mean by that is in teacher preparation, you're, you're going to be required to have certain education classes. For instance, like an intro education class or an education psychology class. You also have to have specific um, math classes, science classes, reading classes, or excuse me, not Sorry, English classes. Uh, so we work to make sure that what you take here aligns with what the Florida universities are looking for. Um, I know in my own, I teach the teacher ed classes, so I work hard to stay current in my best practice. I'm always reading things. And the last question, question is, if you look into job shadow, how would you go about doing that? Well, the good news in teacher education is that you actually begin um, they're, they're called field experiences. They're like an internship right away in teacher education. Um, teacher education standards in the uh, accreditation body for teacher education is very clear that when people in the classroom right away getting experiences so that you can figure out how to be a teacher. So one of the things we offer at KC is that opportunity to kind of get some of those teacher preparation courses under your belt. And you get some field experiences because a lot of math field experiences have attached to it. And it really helps you figure out if you can be a teacher. And even if you transfer, you don't, those are still great classes to have um, because they serve as a lot of credit once you have to have the So a teacher doesn't mess around and they get you, the rules say you gotta start right away, so you start right away. Great. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. You're welcome. Right.